fighting in Ukraine grinds on, and so too do diplomatic efforts to find a peaceful resolution to the conflict. A year ago at the United Nations General Assembly, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called on foreign ministers at a Security Council meeting to do more to help end the fighting. Twelve months on, and world leaders are set to gather in New York again with a similar objective. We want to use the presence of the leaders in town to have a meaningful discussion in the council at the level of heads of delegation, not only to analyze the situation and the ongoing war and consequence in Ukraine, but also the prospects, where we go from now, what can be done. Diplomatic waters are proving increasingly difficult to navigate. In July 2022, the UN and Turkey helped broker the Black Sea Grain Initiative. It was a major political breakthrough and helped facilitate the export of almost 33 million tonnes of grain from Ukraine until Russia pulled out of the deal in July. I think it was to be expected that there would be setbacks at some point along the way in the implementation of the Black Sea Grain Initiative. What is important now are the efforts that are ongoing to try to restart that and the role of the UNGA potentially in acting as a, a platform and an opportunity to move that forward. The United Nations nuclear watchdog continues its efforts to protect the Zaporizhia nuclear plant in Ukraine and the world bodies providing humanitarian support across the country. But the UN's most powerful body, the Security Council, remains gridlocked. Russia has increasingly used this council as a platform for propaganda and disinformation. It has requested briefers on the basis of their willingness to defend or distract from Russian aggression. Instead of looking for solutions to complex problems, which truly does require both time and a willingness to compromise, Western states often deliberately choose the simplest path forward, which provokes the use of the veto or abstentions on documents. But the UNGA brings with it the hope of fresh political impetus. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky is expected to be here at UN headquarters later this month to directly address world leaders and tout its peace formula. Concrete breakthroughs on Ukraine are unlikely at Unger, but UN officials hope to see signs that diplomacy still has a fighting chance of success. William Denslow, CGTN, New York.